The trial of a Cary Vale man charged with abduction is winding down. A Regina court heard closing arguments today. Michael Gordon Jackson allegedly failed to return his seven-year-old daughter to the care of her mother in 2021. Laura Sharpaletti has been reporting on the trial and she joins me now. Laura, what is at the heart of what the jury needs to deliberate? Well, Sam, Michael Gordon Jackson has represented himself during the past two weeks. He's pleaded not guilty to abduction in a contravention of custody order. Now, that means the jury has to determine beyond a reasonable doubt that Jackson intended to deprive his ex-wife of the possession of their daughter. So here's what we know. Last week, the mom, who had primary custody, testified that in November 2021, Jackson failed to return their daughter after a long weekend visit. Over the course of the trial, we heard from multiple witnesses and even Jackson himself. They said Jackson didn't return her because he did not want her to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Jackson testified that he believed it would harm her. So today, during final arguments, Jackson told the jury that witness testimonies and evidence have proven he never intended to keep his daughter from her mother. He said his only intention was to stop her from getting vaccinated. Now, Sam, I will mention that some witnesses testified that Jackson had mentioned prior to taking his daughter that he believed he was the better parent than the mother and that the girl would be better off with him. So what did we hear during the Crown's final arguments? Well, Crown Prosecutor Zoe Kim Zagalar argued that under the custody agreement, Jackson did not have medical decision-making power, but he was expected to communicate his thoughts on medical matters with his daughter's mom. The Crown says there's no doubt he made his concerns about the COVID-19 vaccine clear, but the girl's mom had the ultimate decision-making power. So after she told Jackson that she planned to get their daughter vaccinated, the Crown argues he decided to take the law into his own hands. She alleges that Jackson was supposed to return his daughter to her, to the mother, in November 2021. But he kept the girl until late February of 2022, and that's when he was arrested in Vernon, British Columbia. So according to the Crown, Jackson's goal of keeping his daughter unvaccinated meant that he purposely kept the girl away from her mother. Kim Zagalar also read some of Jackson's own words from that period to the jury. Quoting Jackson as saying, never seeing her mother again would be a benefit, not a loss. Finally, Laura, if Jackson is found guilty, what kind of sentence would he be facing? Mm -hmm. Well, the Crown prosecutor tells me that the sentence range is very broad. It could be anywhere from conditional sentences to up to seven years in prison. Thanks, Laura.